And now please welcome Richard Wilbur and Roger Rosenblatt. The formality, uh, the, the form of the sonnet, does, does a, whatever violations go on within the form, does it gain power from the fact that it is only 14 lines? I do <clears> think <throat> so. Uh, of course, not everything can be poured into the receptacle of the sonnet, but, uh, and if I may quote Robert Frost again, uh, he, he once said, he once said, if there's something you want to say for eight lines and take it back for six lines, <laughs> you, may, you may have the materials of a sonnet. And, but, <laughs> That's true. <laughs> well, there are lots of sonnets that do that. Yeah. They, uh, think, uh, there's that great one of Michael Drayton's. Um, Since there's no help, come let us kiss and part. Nay, I have done, you get no more of me. And I am glad, yea, glad with all my heart that thus so cleanly I myself can free. Shake hands forever, cancel all our vows, and when we meet at any time again, be it not seen in either of our brows that we one jot of former love retain. Now, at the last gasp of love's latest breath, when his pulse failing, passion speechless lies, and faith is kneeling by his bed of death, and innocence is closing up his eyes. Now, if thou wouldst, when all have given him over, from death to life, thou mightst him yet recover. I don't think I dramatized that as well as I could have done, <laughs> but it, you know, the, f the first eight lines say, shake hands, let's, we're, we're, I'm through with you. And, and then the six lines take it piteously back. Three things about your life stand out. You were reared on, um, on a farm, and so the experience this, of that, um, the war, on the experience of that. Oh, and in college, um, uh, hopping freights. That's right. Uh, um, so we got the farmer, the hobo. I was gonna say the soldier, soldier slash cryptographer, because you were interested in cryptography and that's what you did uh, during the Second yes. uh, World War. Each of the experiences, uh, first, uh, there was just something as you were talking, is there an analogous experience to hopping freights these days? It, it, it's, the world seems to have changed so much I don't know. It seems to me that life is uh, is much for for the young is much less an out of door life than it used to be. Le less hopping of freights, less everything out of doors, and more sitting around with those things people have in their pockets, you know, <laughs> <laughs> twittering and all that. Twittering. Um, That's a form. Twittering. It's a <laughs> Limited words, you see what yes. you can do with it. In your programs, there's a, there's a very sc scrolled up page, uh, <clears throat> and I may as well start out by reading you the poem which came of it. This is called The House. Sometimes on waking, she would close her eyes for a last look at that white house she knew in sleep alone and held no title to and had not entered yet for all her size. What did she tell me of that house of hers? White gatepost, terrace, fan light of the door, a widow's walk above the bouldered shore, salt winds which ruffle the surrounding firs. Is she now there, wherever that may be? Only a foolish man would hope to find that haven fashioned by her dreaming mind. Night after night, my love, I put to sea. As a poet, you've, it seems that you've always looked out. You see objects, you see what is there, take your time and make something of it. 
Yeah. Much of the poetry with, that, with which I grew up um, went the opposite direction, the so-called confessional, self-absorbed poem. Mm -hmm. Were you ever tempted in that direction, or, and did you make, did you make a, um, a decision of craft or a decision of personality that says, this is not my world? I guess, I guess I felt it simply wasn't consistent with me to uh, continually uh, mine my personal experience. Heaven knows that there are a lot of poems which, are, which come right out of my life. Uh, and, uh, but uh, I think I never qualified really as a confessional poet. Finally, uh, maybe 15 years ago, uh, I noticed that uh, a lot of the uh, world I'd grown up in was no longer there. That, that farm I spoke of is no longer there. And that a lot of the people were no longer there. And so I did turn latterly in, to, in one or two poems uh, to, to making um, direct pictures of my earlier life. I, I really, I don't, I don't have any arguments to make about the confessional, I think. Obviously, obviously in, in bad hands it turns out bad. <laughs> but we can think of some people so classifiable, starting with Dee Snodgrass, who uh, wrote wonderful poems out of their own experience. In the emotion, standing outside of it, in order to write the poem about the emotion. Yes. Um, is, and is, is this a way of doing it? Is this way your way? Yes, I, I think you express it very nicely. I think that's that's what always happens. You uh, you don't, uh, as Yeats said, you you don't break up your lines to weep. You want to get the lines, the lines right, uh, and so you are you are coldly aesthetic about what you're executing at the same time the feeling is is constant and is the reason for the poem in the first place let's thank dick wilbur thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.